All right, so it should be starting. So I thank you, Ron, for taking the time to do this um, project with me and interview. Um, and uh, I'll just talk with a few questions with you. Um, and it all revolves around the computers uh, we use today. And um, we'll see how that insights to, to your workforce. Um, so we'll start out with, if you could just, you know, briefly describe what, what it is you do now. Um, and yeah, tell us a little about your, your work. Sure. So, um, <clears throat> so I work in the life insurance industry um, in the marketing area. So we support uh, our, our sales force. So providing um, you know, the sales team with uh, marketing resources that they need to be able to um, help their, their clients meet their financial uh, objectives. Okay, so with that being said, I'll just start out with how computers play a role um, in, in what you just mentioned. Um, I guess similar to most businesses today, um, computers are you know, an everyday um, or in every aspect of our work every day. Mm -hmm. um, we utilize them um, in a number of a number of ways that I can I can explain. So uh, on the on the sales end, um, uh, you know, our sales teams go out and uh, and, and make presentations to clients. Uh, they run what's called illustrations, which kind of show the projections of uh, some of the life insurance products that they would be um, uh, presenting to to their clients for purchase. Um, on, more on the corporate side or the on the home office side, uh, computers are used um, in in a variety of ways every day, um, including uh, data data capture, um, keeping track of of sales, keeping track of um, uh, leads on on the digital side <clears throat> of marketing. Obviously, we uh, we run campaigns. Uh, marketing campaigns digitally, so we're we're capturing data, um, we're uh, sending out marketing messaging through uh, you know digitally through computers uh, in social posts and emails. Um, we use computers to uh, to generate um, uh, collateral um, with um, with regards to like design applications and uh, and ways to to uh, turn ideas from. Uh, from Word to PowerPoint to video and all, all sorts of things. So uh, computing, you know, just, just like any business I, I would imagine today uh, is, is a, uh, an integral part of what we do each and every day. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and there was a lot you just mentioned. Um, so, you know, my next question would have been, you know, do computers play significance? And obviously you just answered through how it basically controls, you know, the, the whole day in terms of what you do. Um, to show how computers really play significance in, in being the main role of, of how everything operates. Um, so with that being said, I'll ask, how is it different from maybe before computers? You know, computers weren't around forever. Um, and yep. I know you've been in the marketing business for a while. So maybe in, uh, touch on how computers before they were so popular, how, how things were different, whether it was easy or harder or just, you know, unique. Yeah, so I'm old enough to remember when computers weren't around in in, in the workplace uh, on a on a you know regular basis the way they are now, hmm. and uh, in in this industry, and I've been in this industry my whole career. So in the life insurance industry, um, everything was paper based. Um, it was from you know I mentioned illustrations before where you know you're making presentations to clients and showing them the projections. Uh, of what a life insurance policy would look like for them over the course of you know 20 years or 30 years and what the what the cost would be etc um well there used to be rate books um literally just these big books of numbers and you would look up an age and how old they were and what their health might be and uh you know just spreadsheets basically of uh of charts in books and uh you know they, they were bulky you had to carry them around they were inefficient um with regards to uh, communications, I didn't mention before, but like email, right? Very basic. We communicate with email every day, uh, mm -hmm. just like most people do today. Um, you know, that, that wasn't as commonplace. Um, and you had telephones, um, obviously, as, as the main form of communications, letters. Uh, so, you know, the, the introduction of computing into certainly my industry and I would imagine all industries just led to efficiency, 
led to innovations around um, you know better ways of, of of doing things, reaching out to to clients, communications, uh, the speed by which you were able to bring products to market, um, really every aspect of the business you could think about uh, was improved uh, through the utilization of of computing. Yeah, I mean the things you just mentioned make it seem like you know it was such a drastic difference um probably made a lot of things more harder than it is today obviously with technology and computers in terms of just clicking buttons and having things done rather than paperwork or written out um so with that i would ask you know if if the company weren't to use computers as much today you think the productivity would either be slower i mean then again you guys might not know what computers and and their capability would be um but how you think maybe if computers didn't work as well as they did in the role today how things might have been different well you know computers um you know it, it didn't get to where they were today overnight right so there was a slow introduction Transition. of computing um and as uh, technology improved it led to you know greater efficiencies and and so on so there was a there was a slow and gradual uh, integration of computing into the business world. Um, and with each introduction came some some hurdles to, to, to learn, obviously, um, and get them, uh, you know, indoctrinated into the into the, the business process and the business model. Um, but over time, it, it led to uh, improvements and, and efficiencies. If we were to go back um, and for some reason we didn't have computing, um, and I can give an example of, you know, just any, anybody who's had uh, technical issues yeah. and had to go a day without, you know, without full uh, access to either your email or, you know, some application that you have for, for, for work, um, you see how your, your productivity goes way down, even for that one day when uh, you're trying to get technical support to get you back up uh, uh, and running. So we become so reliant on uh, the power of computing and the the, the jobs that it, it is able to do for us um, that, you know, going back uh, is an unimaginable at this point. All right. Um, so what type, I, I, I wanted to ask this question, what type of computers Maybe do you prefer in the workforce? Is there different ones that vary for different jobs? Or, I mean, you know, a computer could do its job for whatever, but is there one you prefer over another between maybe Mac and Dell? I know some um, people, Mac is the more popular one, but not always everyone, you know, finds it to be the most efficient for them. In our organization, we don't use, uh, we don't use um, any, any Macs, uh, Apple. The, the only ones that do, uh, are the creative teams that are doing design work? Yeah, um, I could see in, that. In, I mean, yeah, in that in that case, they you know the, the Apple products work a little bit better for the design applications. <clears throat> um, everyone else uses um, you know standard uh, laptops now, not not even um, uh, you know the old uh, desktops. Uh, they're basically all laptops now. Um, Lenovo is really what we use mostly. I think we we may have had. Uh, Dells in the past. I think we did have Dells in the past. Uh, I think we use Lenovo now, but it's all basically laptop based, which is, um, you know, certainly good because it gives you the flexibility. You know, if you're going on a business trip, you know, you bring that laptop yeah, with you. Mobile. Certainly uh, with the pandemic and people working from home, you know, you don't have to lug uh, a desktop home. You yeah. know, it's your laptop taking it off the docking station and, you know, you know, you're you're in business wherever you are with with a laptop, um, so that's really where where it is right now. There was a little bit of an experiment with um, Microsoft Surface, um, uh, pro, uh, you know, the the, the uh, devices uh, about a year or two ago. Uh, I don't think it worked out. A lot of people were not uh, as happy with the the Surface right. um, as they were with a typical you know laptop. Yeah. All right. Um, so you mentioned a lot about computers, how, you know, they, they play a drastic role in your workforce, how, how you've come a long way without them. Um, so to wrap it up, I, I, I want to ask, um, you know, how does someone like you who wasn't born into this generation of technology and computers, 
and how, you know, in today's generation, it doesn't stop developing, how you're able to develop new skills and keep up with the rapid growth of technology uh, that you might not have been used to not too long ago. Yeah, I would say that every time uh, th there is a, uh, an, an, a new program, right, a new application that we need to, to get involved with, um, it, it's another learning opportunity. I think the fact that we're talking on Zoom right now uh, yeah. And two years ago, none, none of us knew what Zoom was, yeah. um, you know, is is testament to that, right? You have to learn and adapt to whatever the situation is at the time. And uh, the, the uh, uses and the applications of computing will just continue to evolve. Yeah. Um, it's not always easy. Some, you know, some uh, changes are, are more complicated than others. Um, but it, you know, it's necessary really now to, to be able to compete and, and really as table stakes right now, anything that's, that's new, uh, you need to get up to speed and, and learn how to use it as quickly as possible. Um, especially if, you know, your, your organization is, uh, adopting it as, uh, as a way of doing business. Um, luckily when things like that happen, they provide support. You know, they provide a lot of the training, a lot of the resources that you need to get up to speed. Um, but it certainly is a, a, a slow process. Uh, again, I uh, came into the business world really before computers were a mainstay. Um, but over time, uh, you know, you, you learn and adapt and <clears throat> you add a little bit more and a little bit more to your knowledge base. And, um, you know, you get to the point where, you know, it, it becomes second nature and, you uh, you know, as you use things every day, uh, you become more proficient in, uh, in how to use them and how to adapt it into your, your business. Yeah, definitely um, an adaptation that, you know, you, you've seen both sides of things. Um, and as we see into the future, how it continues to grow into, you know, my, my career and my, as, as years go on, we'll see how, you know, it pans out. All right. Well, I thought this was very insightful and uh, I thank you very much for being a part of this and taking the time for this interview. Um, and yeah, I thought uh, we learned a lot today um, and, and it was good to see from another insight of how, you know, computers play a big role in uh, a company like yours and what you do. Yeah, ha happy to uh, happy to help. Hopefully this was uh, informational and informative and uh, yeah, so good, good, good luck in your world uh, using computers like we are right now. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome, Dean, take care.